creating subforms on an access form using the tab control. Using subforms on access is very helpful. The ability to have multiple subforms on the same form is even better. Displaying multiple subforms on a form can be accomplished through the use of the tab control. The tab control looks like file folder tabs where a separate subform can be added to each tab. First, we will start on the design side of a form. In our example, we're tracking student biographical information. The student, um, student name and ID number are on the main form. We will create subforms to store the data for the address, phone, and email tables. First, we will add the tab control to our form. Once the tab control has been added, we will then add a subform for each of the tables. The subform control is turned on, and on over the top of the tab control, you simply draw a rectangle to start the subform wizard. We will use data from an existing table. We will need to select the table which we will will use. In this case we're going to start with the address table. Now when adding the fields into a subform, I always skip the primary key field as well as the secondary key field from the other table. So I will start with the street one field, add all those and then at the end I will add the foreign key and the primary key. Click the next button. Assuming our relationships have been set up correctly, it'll automatically recognize the linked field between the two tables. And now I can simply name my subform. And click finish. All right. First, I will delete the label for my subform. I, I won't need that as I'll actually label it using the page control here. To rename from page 33 to a name that actually means something, I can right click and go to the properties. I can also click the properties sheet up above on the design tab. So on the name, instead of page 33, I will rename it as address. Alright, page 34, that will be my phone subform, so I can rename that there. And then also I will need to add one more page control for my email table. I can right click on the tab, go to insert page, it inserts a new page. And again I can rename in the property sheet. Once I've created the first subform on the address tab, I can do the exact same process on the phone tab. Select the phone tab, find my subform control on the design tab, draw out the rectangle to start the subform wizard. This time I will need to select my phone table from the drop down. Again, I'm going to skip my primary key and the foreign key field and enter those in at the end of the line. It recognizes the relationship and again I can rename my subform. And again I will delete the label and do the same process to the email tab. Again, skip the primary and foreign key fields, put them at the end of our list. Recognize the relationships and rename the subform. Now when I return to form view, you will see the, again our main form is up above, 
Here's our address table on this tab. The phone tab has all the phone information. And the email tab has the email information for this particular student. Now here's a, the reason why I skipped the primary key and the, and the foreign key field. It will display the fields in order that they were selected during the wizard. I don't need to see the address ID, which is my primary key, nor do I need to see the foreign key field on my subform, as the foreign key will match up with the main form up above. That's why I selected those at the end, so that when I click on the tab, it'll automatically go directly to the address information, directly to the phone information, and directly to the email information, so I don't have to scroll back and forth to find that data. Now obviously all of this can be cleaned up, rearranged, resized, so it fits nicely on your screen. But again, this is creating subforms within the tab control in Access.